We are strong advocates for providing our presbyopic patients the opportunity to wear multifocal contact lenses. Multifocal contact lenses are our first choice, but they aren't always successful. This is a case of a 53-year-old female who is wearing monovision correction with her right eye set for distance and her left eye set for near correction. She reported that her vision or her up close vision was getting blurry. When her best corrective visual acuity was measured, it was 2030 with the left eye. A full dilated ocular health assessment revealed mild cataracts in both eyes. There was a reflectiveness to the left retina that seemed to be consistent with a mild epiretinal membrane, but it was difficult to come to that conclusion because the patient had a difficult time sitting for the fundus examination. An OCT was performed on the patient. Now, in order to appreciate this patient's scan, it's important to understand the normal scan as it can be seen here. All the layers of the retina have a nice smooth contour. Additionally, the retina has an inner lining called the internal limiting membrane. This is a very thin and transparent acellular membrane that lines the inner surface of the retina. Our patient had a very prominent epiretinal membrane. This occurs from the contraction of the internal limiting membrane that causes the inner layers of the retina to now have an irregular contour, as can be seen here. In this instance, because of how mild the vision was affected, no surgical intervention was warranted. We saw this patient again in six months to determine how stable the findings were or whether or not they were changing. We then monitor every six months after that for changes in the retina, advising her to return to the office immediately if she notices any changes with her vision. This case demonstrates why it's important to always explain why a patient's vision is reduced. Make sure to fully utilize the technologies available to you. In this instance, OCT technology to rule out any retinal issues was utilized. By keeping these things in mind, it helps us appropriately care for our patients. And ultimately, that's why we do what we do. We hope that this has been clinically insightful.